This is Lance Shepard, Pioneer Field Agronomist in Northeast Indiana. As corn pollination begins to wrap up and fungicide plans come together, we need to determine if an insecticide should be added. In Northern Indiana, Western bean cutworm has become a year-over-year -year concern. To help make this decision, we track moth flights through trapping efforts to determine peak flight. If peak flights are prior to tassel, we could see an increased mortality rate as young larvae depend on pollen grains to feed on as they move to the ear. On the flip side, if peak flights align with pollination or thereafter, we could see decreased grain yields and grain quality due to feeding. While we should not make this decision solely on moth flights, scouting for egg masses on the top side of the uppermost leaves will determine if the threshold has been met. Egg masses appear white when they are first laid. They will then turn a light tan and convert to purple just prior to hatch. This will occur over a seven to 10 day process. Therefore, ideal application timing is once the majority of the egg masses have turned purple, since most insecticides only give us two weeks of control. Throughout Northeast Indiana, a threshold of 5% has been adapted. This is lower than the Western states due to the high risk of grain quality issues from fungi. Consult your sales professional for further insight to moth flights in your area. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.